Mm -hmm. I'm Felipe Pantone, I'm a um, graffiti writer and an artist living in Valencia, Spain. I, I was born in Argentina and I moved with my parents to Spain when I was 10. When I turned 18, my mother, I mean, my mother is from Chile, you know, my father from Argentina, we moved here for a better life, you know, and when we came here, she was like, you have to go to university, you know, whatever it takes. And I was like, I just want to paint, you know? And then I said, okay, fuck it, let's, let's do art school, you know? And to be honest, I really have regret to, to have done art school. Nowadays with the internet, I, I don't think you need to, to study anymore, unless it's like medicine or, you know, some important shit. I didn't study graphic design. I do a lot of graphic design. I'm mixing up people on tutorials on YouTube, you know? Those are my teachers, you know? You know, when I started graffiti as a kid, I never thought I was doing art, you know? I never felt like I was trying to express anything. I think art is medium by used to express certain feelings that you couldn't express otherwise, you know? I believe graffiti is more like an attitude or a game, you know? Why then museums are trying to, you know, adopt graffiti somehow? What I think even though graffiti writers don't be don't believe they're doing art, uh, graffiti is like a, bi a bigger thing, you know. It's bigger than than graffiti writers themselves. I mean, Cubism's been out there for thirty years, you know. There've been like thirty artists. What well, graffiti has been already for forty years. It doesn't look like it's gonna st stop. And how many artists, you know, like hundreds, thousands. The style should be like a mix between kinetic art and from optical art and, and um, obviously from technology and from the stuff that I see every day. From, I mean, I think I, I belong to the present. A lot of people, they say, yeah, your work is from the future. I really think it's from the present, you know. It has nothing to do because I don't know what the future looks like. I don't know what the present looks like. Sometimes they go together for some reason and some of the times it is they go completely separate, uh, meaning graffiti and art, you know. Uh, art helps my graffiti and my graffiti helps my art. That's for sure. That's amazing how it happens. I do find the same pleasure when it comes to art and when it comes to graffiti. Same thing. I think it's the fact that I've been painting graffiti for almost uh, 17 or 18 years already that I, it shaped my, my behavior, you know, my personality, totally. The fact that I'm all about speed, the fact that, the fact that, uh, that my art is bold, that, um, you know, the colors I use. So in a way, you know, my personality comes from graffiti. When uh, certain artists separated or disconnect themselves from, from graffiti, you know, or at least in front of the audience, I think it's, it's silly. When it comes to art, you have to be as much as, as much sincere or honest to yourself as possible. You know, that's, I think the best artist is the one that is more honest to themselves. If for some reason someone comes and says, this is what it is, this is very successful, you're gonna get a lot of money out from this. And I had to be painting all this same shit for the next 10 years, I will definitely say no, you know. But well, to be honest, I am getting money out of my art, but uh, I never did my art for money, like never. I mean, I really enjoy being in my studio and trying to think new shit, and then I really enjoy to be traveling and painting with my friends. So. Truth is, Omar and I spent a lot of time together. We had a blog together. We we made festivals together. We have a, a similar vision when it comes to anything art related. I, mean, I think the idea was pretty clear at the beginning, and the book is basically that. You know, it's a it's a big conversation about our vision. I present the, uh, an image. Omar responds with another photograph, and then we have an an actually a text. Um, conversation at the end of it. It's a really intimate thing to share. Uh, my art is supposed to be abstract and then photography is supposed to be figurative because you're taking photos of whatever is in front of you. So what we did here, uh, abstract art, it comes from from real life and then Omar is res responding with an abstract photography of real life. So it's basically the inverse process, you know. So it's a bit, um, I don't know, trying to like, to, to press the screw a little bit more, see what happens. The title is Race Flag. Because you're recording this, my voice, I had to say Race Flag, but the title is this, and then you put it, you know? Well, signing them was fucking absolutely insane. It took us like three days, and we had a big display here. Oh, yeah, we thought it was gonna be like, 
like yeah we, we have this we got this you know we're gonna do this in in two hours it was like three days <laughs> it was fucking intense it was crazy